Morning, Botai, Ayrev Shabbat Shalom. As part of a global initiative now, especially with the Matzav in Eretz Yisrael, the perilous situation, uh, we know that one of the greatest lines of defense that Ami Sen has to protect us from Ol Tzarot is the Shabbat. The protection of Shabbat is almost uh, immeasurable. So it's, it's a good thing for those who obviously uh, haven't kept Shabbat until now to begin keeping Shabbat. And even those who do keep Shabbat to strengthen their Shemirat Shabbat, especially through learning the laws of Shabbat on Shabbat, on the table. It's a tremendous thing. And uh, as Rabbi Abraham ibn Aizra writes in his famous song, Kiyosh Merah Shabbat, he says, Kiyosh Merah Shabbat, Eli Shmereni. It pr- provides protection for Am Yisrael. In Siman Shmem Tet, Maran says part of Kavot Shabbat is preparation on Eidav Shabbat, which is that even on Eidav Shabbat, a person has to be careful about what he eats and when he eats in order so that th- that doesn't interfere with a person's appetite on Shabbat. So first of all, Maran says that if a person, a se'uda, that is bigger than a person would usually have during the week, a se'uda gdola, a se'uda that a person would not eat during the week, is asur all day on Friday, already from alot shachar. That's asur, because something like that can interfere. Besides for, the exception to that is se'udat mitzvah. If there's a milah, or pidyon, or something of that nature on Eid of Shabbat, it's mutar uh, any time on Eid of Shabbat because it's a seudat mitzvah, but otherwise it's a sur. For instance, even for breakfast, let's say a person's going out for a huge breakfast, a, a breakfast that a person wouldn't usually have during the week, is a sur be Eid of Shabbat. Now, what about a seudat that a person usually does have during the week, a regular meal, a breakfast, lunch, whatever it is, a seudat like that, according to the letter of the law, is mutar all day, on Eid of Shabbat until Knisata Shabbat, until Shabbat begins. However, it's a mitzvah to abstain from being Kovea Seuda, from eating a bread meal already from Sha'at Tisha'it, from the beginning of the ninth hour and on, which is about this time of year, it's about 3.15, 3.20 and on, so that a person can have Ta'ava from Shabbat, which means according to the letter of the law, it's mutar, but it's a mitzvah to abstain. And not only that, the poskim said that if a person knows, a person has to know himself, person has to gauge himself and pace himself that if he knows that if he eats now or whatever, the kind of food and the time on Erev Shabbat that he eats is going to interfere with his appetite to be able to eat on Lem Shabbat, he should abstain from that and have something a little bit smaller so that he can keep his stomach partially empty and have Te'avon for Lem Shabbat. Have a wonderful day and Shabbat Shalom Vorot.